My name is Karen, but I'm not a Karen. If generational put downs are getting you upset, stay tuned. You know, people are always asking me right now, especially, are you upset? You know, your name is Karen, but everybody's talking about the Karens out there. Um, actually, no, I'm not upset at all. And we'll talk about being upset later. But the question is, so what is a Karen? Um, what is a Karen? So I had to do a little research and I found out that Karen are women uh, who are privileged women between the ages of 40 and 50. And they've got a bone to pick with pretty much everybody. They're the ones that are in a store and they want to see the manager. Um, or I just read where kids had a lemonade stand in, um, in the upstate New York. And a Karen came over and wanted to know if they had a permit for the stand. Yeah, pretty uncalled for. So maybe you've heard of the Dog Park Karen. Dog Park Karen, This was she was on YouTube. This was a woman walking through Central Park and she didn't have her dogs leashed. And an African-American man was bird watching. And he said, ma'am, could you please put a leash on your dogs? And she took a video of him telling the police that he was upsetting her. Yeah, she was called now the Dog Park Karen. So what are Karens? Karens are people that have a bone to pick with people. And I'm not a Karen. Even though my name is a Karen, I don't get upset. But this generational bashing, if you think about it, is really the only put down, the only stereotyping that we can do and then we can get away with. Generational differences are the final frontier where put downs and stereotyping is acceptable. And where does it get us? Where does it get us putting another generation down? The reality of it is, is that we want to be inclusive right now. Today, we're talking about diversity and inclusive, and that includes the generations. But so many of us from OK Boomer to uh, maybe you were called a slacker uh, to poor millennials. We've called you everything from lazy, wanting to live with your parents. You name it, millennials. We've been on you for decades. And the reality of it is, is it's time to stop. It's time to stop because generational bashing is getting us nowhere. So think about it. Today, generational diversity and inclusion is a top priority in organizations. And it starts with each of us stopping the generation bashing. And you know what? If you're sensitive and you get offended by the generation bashing, uh, maybe you're a Karen and Karens are upsetting you right now. It's time to go back and read the four agreements. I don't know this book has been out for decades, but he talks about the power of not taking things personally. You know you're not a Karen out there. So read the four agreements if you take it personally and let that all go. It's Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road. <laughs>